Hi Sagittarius, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of August 16th through the 22nd, 2021. This is a reading for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you are a cross watcher, you might be able to resonate with some of these messages. All right, so Sag, we have the King of Swords here. He's trying to come out in the reverse, as you can see. For some of you, it's a general reading. For some, some of you, he may be upright, but for others, he is in the reverse. All right, what does the sign of Sag have coming up for this week, please, Sagittarius? So guys, I would like to say welcome to all of you. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. Also, if you could please give this video a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate that. Oh my goodness, who did I just do? Aries, I just did the Aries read and they had both of these characters here. So some of you maybe have Aries in your chart. You could be dealing with an Aries. They did not have um, the King of Swords in the reverse though. He was actually in the upright. So that's interesting. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So now we have a couple here. Let's see. Sagittarius. What is the... Okay. Eight of Wands. Hmm. Wow, look at this. Okay. Page of Swords. Wow, look at this. Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups. What is the overall energy for Sagittarius, please, for this week? What is the overall energy for Sagittarius? Temperance, very nice. There's your card, Sag. Here at the bottom of the deck, I do have the Page of Pentacles. So news is on its way. For some of you, you may you may hear something this week if you're waiting on news. For others, I do see a delay here. You definitely need to be patient. Now, Sag, maybe you're the one that needs to maybe communicate with somebody, uh, you could be taking your sweet time. So maybe, uh, maybe for some of you, someone is waiting on you, Sag. They're waiting on you to reach out. That's not for all of you, but that is something I'm getting. If you resonate with that, I think you're taking your sweet time. You have your reasons. Uh, it could be that you're watching this person have a little bit of a spying energy here. So um, before you maybe reach out to somebody, you're maybe checking them out online. Be careful what you see online though. Be careful with what it is that you're hearing or seeing this week, guys, because for some of you, there's some lies. There could be some gossip going around with this energy here. Um, someone's not telling the truth. Most likely that is a king of swords. So that could be a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius. Really could be any sign, um, but they're acting like the king of swords in the reverse, which is, which is not good, um, really. We have the page of pentacles. For some of you, this is legal news. Maybe you're waiting on uh, a legal decision to come in. For some of you, this could be in regards to school or a job. Um, maybe there's something with a contract. You have a decision that you have to make. And with this news, with this decision, it's going to allow for you to start something new. And you already have everything you need. You have the magician here, so you already have everything you need. I think that you're, you know... There's some unknowns here with this. You don't have all the information. You're waiting on news. 
and um, you may not be ready to make that decision or you may not be ready to reach out to someone or to maybe start something because you need more information. You need more information. Uh, again, some of you could be checking someone out online. Others, you're studying. You could be researching something. It could be online. Others, you know, you could be reading a lot. Uh, you could be staying indoors. Some of you may have uh, just gone back to school or you could be taking a class. But news is coming in. News is coming in uh, no matter what. It may have been delayed or is delayed here this week, but it's coming in. Now, the overall energy is temperance, which is a healing energy. Um, here you see the angel. You are very much being uh, divinely guided at this time. So if you feel the need, Sag, to take your time with something, then do that. This is you definitely um, staying calm. This is you healing. This is you feeling more balanced here at this time. For some of you, you're healing from the past. There could have been some bad news. There could have been a difficult uh, maybe character that you've been dealing with. The King of Swords, the King of Swords can can be someone that is not obviously the most honest. He can be a number of different things. With the Eight of Wands, this is um, you not moving forward with this person, or this is you not communicating with this person. You know, maybe this is an ex. You could have ended could have ended a relationship with this person they may reach out to you but you definitely could be making them wait or um, maybe you're just you're just not ready you're not ready to deal with them maybe they were pretty uh, nasty in the past this could be someone who spread some rumors about you. I don't really like this combination. Um, this can represent gossip. Someone uh, spreading false information. You do have the pages here. So it could be that a particular person was maybe acting immature. There could be something you're hearing about this person. Someone may have some karma coming in. You, though, you're healing. You're, you're being divinely guided at this time to maybe move in a completely different direction. You do have two kings here. So this could be someone new that you're, that you're pursuing or you're being pursued by. Um, you may have earth in your chart. We have earth. We have water. So we have a lot of water. We have earth, could be that something um, didn't work out with maybe a fellow fire sign or an air sign. And um, you may have a friend, for some of you this is a friend. Things could be progressing very slowly. You may meet this person this week. If you don't know who I'm talking about, get out, go out, socialize. Some of you have been in the house too long. You may have even in the past met someone online and, and maybe it didn't work out. But um, if you've been in the house for too long, go out. I think that um, if you're single, yeah, uh, you're, you're going to meet someone. 
you're going to meet someone, but I think that you will start out as friends first. And so this could be a very slow process, but you know what, maybe that's what you need because for some of you, you may have just ended it with um, a king of swords. And you know, this could be male or female. So don't get, you know, don't get hung up on, you know, the genders. If I say king of swords, it definitely does not have to be um, a man. It can be a woman ear sign energy maybe this person has ear and fire in their chart but i am seeing a new possibility there is a new possibility ace of cups along with the page of pentacles now it could be that this person um for some of you this person is a very hard worker that could be you sag um This person may be a cop. This person may be an attorney. Uh, they may work in the legal field. This could be someone that you're getting to know. But I, I do see potential here. I do see potential here. If you are already partnered, if you're already partnered, it could be that you guys had a fight. But you are healing uh, your relationship, you're, you're making up with this person, maybe they had, you know, a bad day or, or a bad week or something like that. You have a tremendous amount of healing energy and this is, this is you falling for someone. For those of you that are already partnered, I think that you're falling more in love with your person. We have a couple here. So this is you falling more in love with, uh, your person. Some of you, you have a lot in common. You have a lot in common with this person. You could be learning that here at this time for those of you where this is, you know, new love. You could be finding out here at this time that this person has a lot in common with you. I mean, some things, with some things, they may, they may be opposite, but maybe you guys think alike or maybe um, maybe you're both homebodies or something like that. Maybe you both um, you know want to have a big family. So this is you know this is really nice with the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Two of Cups. This is um, reciprocated love. I see lots of feelings here, lots of emotions. Uh, if if you've met someone new and this person is just a friend that's how you guys are starting out but i think you will definitely fall for this person pretty quickly emotionally speaking and it could be that you know they're a businessman or woman um you know they may be wealthy maybe not maybe you know they're just uh someone with you know someone with um a lot of potential a lot of potential they're very stable let's pull you some additional guidance cards sagittarius what is the additional guidance for sagittarius for this week but we see you open we see you open for those of you that are partnered Again, maybe your partner had uh, a bad day or a bad week. Something could have happened. Maybe maybe they had, you know, a little bit of an attitude, but I do see you guys making up. Some of you, you could be starting a family. You could be extending your family. Okay. All right, one last card for Sagittarius, please. And if you haven't already given this video a thumbs up, please do. Okay. And all of the decks that I am using, they are listed below along with the links if you are interested in purchasing them. Look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. So we have two Sag cards showing up here. I mean, you're showing up here in this reading, that's for sure. Um, 
look at the bigger picture. So if you are, and we have full moon energy, which we have a full moon on the 22nd here. So right at the end of this week, we have um, the second Aquarius full moon. But those of you, um, those Sagittarian men that I'm reading for, my Sag uh, subscribers, if you're a man, um, watch your temper and think about um, the long term. Look at the bigger picture. You know, something could have happened in the past or if you are seeing something online here this week, just know that you don't have all of the information. You have to be careful. Um, it could be that you're seeing something or hearing something. If you're watching someone, if you're if you're keeping an eye on someone online, maybe you don't like what you see. And then when you talk to this person, you have you know a little bit of an attitude. But my advice would be to ask questions. And you know you don't want to come across as the King of Swords in the reverse. You don't want to do that. If something's bothering you, because here, look at this. We have the Seven of Cups with the Nine of Swords. If something is bothering you, you need to address it. But when you do address it, you cannot come off like the King of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, so take a moment. Take a moment. Which you will, for those of you that, you know, you can resonate with both of these, you know king of swords in the reverse but you're going to uh you know ground yourself and you're going to um be very patient here when it comes to handling this this problem this matter because for some of you this is your person you know this is your person We have independent. Your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. Beautiful. We have sensitivity. You are becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. And so um, this could be a, a third party. Um, for those of you that are partnered, this could be a family member. This could be anybody uh, maybe someone who interfered with your relationship but we see you actually mending your relationship for others um you know if that's a brother or a cousin a friend whoever if this person is toxic if they're negative i mean maybe it's time for you to cut them off we have prosperity very nice prosperity the universe is pouring its abundance out to you be open to receiving beautiful beautiful and you deserve this uh for some of you there is a financial offer that's coming in and when you first receive this this offer you may think oh this is this is a very small offer but what i see here is it has big potential here big potential so if you do have a financial opportunity coming in Listen to your intuition. Take your time. Don't make a hasty decision here. You have to think long term. All right, guys. So I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. All right, guys. Have a great week.